Hi, hello, and howdy. This is Sheila, and welcome to the Penny Pig channel. Um, this is the second installment of the Beginner Beginner Junk Journal, or third, I'm sorry, it's the third Beginner Beginner Junk Journal series. And before we get into actually making a little journal, I did want to show you this. This is something that I made at work when I was still working. Um, and there was a ton of people in my office partying. Shh, I'm not going to name names. <laughs> but I'm not working anymore, so I, I don't care. And it had my birthday had just passed, and so I had some things laying around. And so while we were the conversation was going, I just started putting this together. I used a file folder. This is actually wrapping paper, and that's what we're going to use to cover our journal with. And there was a funny napkin laying there, and I just cut it apart and put it on the front here. This was part of a, my, one of my birthday cards, and I cut some of this to make the little banner ribbons. And this was actually um, a napkin for my birthday. I put that, in. and there was a calendar laying about. I think something. Uh, I think that's where I got this, or maybe this was a card too. I don't know. And a little memo pad. Uh, this was, of course, the package from my strawberry crush <laughs> that you put in the water. And uh, this, I assume, I just caught a tag and put in there. Uh, a little small picture of this bird. And my one of my little pig paper clips. And on the other side, another bird. And this pocket is made from my lunch. <laughs> my salad. What came with my salad at lunch is, and as you can see, Joshua, it is not cut straight. And it still has crumbs in the bottom. <coughs> so, people finally looked at me and, and said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm making, this is what I'm going to do when I retire. And I was getting close, believe me. This is just, we had an a ink pad because we stamped uh, some documents uh, when we scanned them. And uh, so I, this is fingerprints. And then the design around them is just a highlighter. And I made a little pocket here and used a paper clip just to put right there. Uh, made a little decorative strip there. This was also a napkin, and I don't know where that came from. So I made a pocket on that side. Here's where I tied it together. I had a sewing kit, you know, a little sewing repair kit. Tied it together there. Used my date stamp, just circular pattern, to give that some uh, detail. Made a little corner pocket here, and this is, again, using that stamp pad. I don't know what I used for the... Uh, mark maker, uh, probably the lid off of something, who knows. <laughs> but this is just regular paper, and then another pocket with the hearts, and another pocket. This is, and I just had a glue stick that I did all this with. This is a little bookmark someone gave me. It's that time, I guess. And then I just put a strip of the paper here for decoration. And this is just copy paper. So, that's how easy and simple it is just to make one. Uh, to make a junk journal. Now that is about as simple as it gets. And, like I said, I just used what was around me. Okay, so I thought we'd do a little 4 by 6 journal. And, um, better start the timer. Yes. I'll tell them how long I've been talking. Um, so, I'm using my little Dollar Tree ruler to kind of line these up. And I'm going to do about an eighth of an inch between, <coughs> excuse me. And, um, I could use washi tape, but you may not have washi tape. So, I'm just going to use some masking tape just to 
hold these down where in position where I want them. She says confidently. And and why you may ask, am I doing this? This is a Shiva thing, not necessarily something you have to do. Um, but um, the more time and care I take with something, the better the result. Okay, so there, there we have it, and I think this is going to be the outside of my journal. Now, I'm just going to put some of this right here. Not very well, I may have. And look, I just moved my... <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> Woo! Yes, it's early morning and I have not had breakfast. And my stomach knows it. This can go down just any way you want it. And you don't even necessarily have to put masking tape on here. Not by any means. But I'm just doing it to give it a little added strength and to kind of keep it in place. So I can do what I want to do with it. And on the inside, I'm going to put this fabric. And this is just uh, a piece of pillowcase. Just an old pillowcase that I have cut up and torn down. And as far as how wide it is, it's about three inches. So it's gonna it's gonna cover that and then some. But first let's get the outside on. Now got a piece of this wrapping paper and it's very thick and it's even got a texture to it and a shine so I'm gonna <laughs> it conveniently has these little markings on it so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of go by that and I'm gonna put a mark here and this is another Sheila thing because if I don't, I might cut that too close. And I want to leave just like an eighth of an inch um, from the very corner. Like this right here. Just eyeballing it. Um, to make the corner fit right and not, and for, so this, none of this on the inside will show. And I'm just going to go ahead and Okay, uh, I'm going to use this, I think. Um, I'll tell you what, let's do first. Let's go ahead and, and all this I have cut using this and um, the ruler. Even the pages that I've assembled, I did like that. Okay, on camera. There we go. And I apologize. I didn't tell you. I told you to get this and this to cut with. But I didn't tell you what to cut on. Uh, I have a self-healing mat right here. But if you have an old cutting board that you're not using anymore. Or that's all grungy like mine. You can turn it over and use it as a cutting surface. If you don't have that. And you have a cardboard box. You can layer some cardboard and use that for your cutting service. It will it will do the trick until you something better comes along. Okay. All right. Now I want this to stay put for me so that my marks will be right. So what we're going to do. At each corner, we're going to cut in at an angle. So, 
And people just do this so easily, and I just make a, a big to-do over it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to make it look like I know what I'm doing, huh? And I kind of sort of do. <laughs> it's just, I'm trying to be precise, but at the same time, not. I know that doesn't make any sense. Okay. So, now we could probably use glue stick on this, but um, I'm going to assume that you have picked up some Aline's at the Dollar Tree. Now they have these small bottles about like this. Not, not the big one like this, but they're small about that, and they're a dollar. So that would be just fine to get you get you started okay so first thing I'm going to do is put my glue on the front and hopefully I'm going to have enough and it's not too thick so Aline do the trick Now, I'm going to use my little spatula thingy that I also got at the Dollar Tree to kind of spread this out some to give it a good seal, hopefully. Just trying to get it some good coverage. And not make a mess is any bigger than I than I have to. I probably should have this something under me here, but I don't. Okay. Now we're gonna just I'm just gonna we're just gonna go as far as we can in about twenty five minutes or so. And the reason for that is if you're just turning in, we have uh, our internet is is pretty crappy and anything past that just takes forever okay I'm just eyeballing this there's always one corner that's not going to cooperate with me <laughs> it looks like it's going to be that one okay now I'm going to take my old gift card and I'm just going to smooth everything out hopefully it's going to going to stick well, Ta -da. Ta -da -da. I'll go ahead and go over this side as well. Eh, I can see. Yeah, uh, there we go. We've got to do our little groove. Uh oh, that was not doing very well, is it? Let's just run that up in that groove. Okay, now let's see what we got. That works. And that works. Now we're not making anything grand. We're just making a junk journal from junk, so. All right, now I have cut that fabric, and it's just an old bookcase, an old bookcase, pillowcase. And I'm just going to use the tacky glue with that, too, and hopefully it's going to stick. Hopefully. And let's see, do I need to do that first? Yeah, probably. Let's do. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm old. I have to. 
remind myself what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this long side up. And that's not how I would have put the glue on had I thought of it first, but... And it probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and fold this first before you commit to sticking it down. Do as I say, not as I do. This is not easy, guys. <laughs> Especially for me. And, uh... I have a, a talent for making things harder than they are. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and give this a little fold so it kind of knows where it's going to go. And then see if I can get some of this glue down here. And that's about all I'm going to get. Okay. Set it straight up. And that's not a good thing <laughs> with outlines. Now, I also want to remind you that Al John and Joy Defee are both doing um, beginner series right now. And they are terrific teachers. If you want to turn in, tune in, turn in, turn, tune in, <clears throat> you can even get more ideas from them. Uh, Al John is very simplistic and using very simple tools or making your own, much like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Joy Defee. Is a little bit different style. She uses a lot of book page and uh, fussy cuts from, I guess, magazines or books. Because I know one of her videos talks about, <clears throat> excuse me, what books you should buy for junk journaling. You know, they have the the. Pictures of the birds and the flowers and things like that, I think. Okay. And so... Now, here is the moment of truth. far as the corners go and I'm just going to get my fingernail kind of and just going to pull that little bit in and then not perfect but perfect is boring remember that that's your mantra <laughs> perfect is boring so <clears throat> this and get the glue burger off my finger and it looks like probably because this is paper that it's gonna it's gonna be all right don't set your glue up like that Sheila okay come on Eileen okay that's why I like this little flat cap one because you can st stand it upside down and get to the glue quicker. Okay. Now let's get this last flap up. All right. I'm going to burnish it. <laughs> Lydia, I'm going to burnish it. You know, at the end of the last video, the vocabulary words, I said, you know, to add anything, any seasoned crafter, you know, anything I forgot, go ahead and add. And she used the term burnish. 
and that is indeed what it is. I was talking about using your scissor and not having to buy, um, not having to buy a bone folder. And I didn't get the term burnish out, but that's indeed what it is. All right, now let's see if we can do this. And I'm not going to worry too much if the fabric, if this seeps through the fabric, because most of it's going to be covered up anyway. And I don't know how far over I should go. But we'll get that down. Okay, let me see. That right there. Now this is is going to be almost like I don't know what would you call it a hinge. Um, in other words, it's going to aid. Okay, it will not have the wear and tear that paper would. So, not like this is going to last generations, but. Let's get that smooth. You do want to be able to open it and close it easily. Okay, speaking of closing, it's time to think about closures. Oh yeah, and the reason I, th I thought we would do just a plain ribbon, and I started to get Christmas ribbon, <laughs> I said no, I'm not going to do that, because again, they have ribbon at the Dollar Tree, so if you do not have ribbon lying about, then while you're at the Dollar Tree getting your paper cutters and your rulers and anything else you need your glue go ahead and get some ribbon doesn't have to be wide like this this is just what I happen to have and I'm going to be generous with it because I just know how I am okay mm, I set it up right again and I'm going to eyeball the center of it, the center here. Um, I think it's probably right in there. And that's where I'm going to put my glue to glue the ribbon. I'm going to glue ribbon on this side and this side. And that's what we will tie the journal up with. Sure I am. Okay, it's that way she will. I've gotten used to art glitter glue is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's enough to hold hold that our ribbon. Is it straight? I can't see. And it's pink. Oh, uh, the piggies love pink. I don't know why I said that. I have no idea. <laughs> but it's just pink is usually associated with pig, I guess. I don't want to get glue on there. <clears throat> Ruined something. Okay, so that when we put our inside cover on and our um, inside back and inside front, the ribbon will be trapped in there and it won't show. Okay, let me see. I'm in my room. So I watched a little bit of Ephemera, Ephemera's Village Garden, something like that, channel. She was doing a journal start to finish, a show enough journal that was going in her Etsy shop. And, um, what did I start to say? 
Oh well, I'm sure it was interesting. Whatever. So that's uh, <laughs> it's one of the pleasures of getting older. Memory is only about two seconds long. There was something uh, she did that was interesting to me, and I—I I mean, she sped up parts and took parts out. But oh, I know what it was now. <laughs> I just had to think of that. Project box. She does uh, uses the same method I do when she starts a new project. She has a project box, and she pulls out ephemera and paper and ribbons and laces and all that stuff and puts keeps it in a box okay let's see there we go so she has it right there handy now did I ruin the ribbon a little bit Just a wee little bit, so just don't look at that. Just make sure not to get glue on your ribbon. Now that's a plenty thing. Oop, a little bit. Okay. So now we're set for inside pages. How much time have we got? We've only got a couple of minutes. And I did not prepare anything for the inside. Camera just cut off, so I guess that's it's what telling me. Um, you've done enough. <laughs> so, we'll see you next time, and we'll go ahead and sew in the signatures, and, um, I'll let you, I'll show you what I've, I've picked out from my stash of junk, basically. So, see you then for the fourth installment of Beginner Beginner Junk Journaling, okay? And thank you for joining me. If, uh, you don't mind, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my 100 subscriber giveaway video and comment and subscribe to have a chance to win the, the giveaway, which is a good, really good pack of stuff for somebody just beginning. Okay, so stay well, take care, and hugs and kisses until we meet again. Bye-bye.